Cole Rodden writes, with everyone doing shared universes now, what should others take slash stay away from what Marvel has done? Um, I don't know. I mean, most of it they're trying to copy. I mean, everyone's trying to copy Marvel right now. Right. I mean, I guess the question, what's the question as far as like if, if, if something that they've done wrong to not yeah. do? Yeah. Better villains? I yeah. Think. I mean, but that's, Mine. that's anything. But I mean, but I think we're going to get, I think we're going to get the best villain with Ultron. Mm -hmm. I really do. Um, but I would just, it's, I don't know, it's more, it's more of just, yeah, you know what, you can take away from them too, and I think that they've even bettered themselves as well as, is, and what we were just talking about before is rushing, mm -hmm. because they rushed to Iron Man 2, and that didn't really work, and they've, they've rushed properties when they didn't have to, and I think that they've, they've since corrected that problem, they're not rushing properties as much, they're planning them out, they, they know this whole cinematic universe where it's going. So if you're going to do, I mean, for me, that's, that's why people rushing to do shared universes, even when we were talking about all the, with, when the Sony information came out about Men in Black and, and mm -hmm. Jump Street, that's just kind of throwing it up in the air. And it's like, that, that's what they don't do. And you, if you're going to do a shared universe, don't do that. And Universal's trying to do their Monsters universe. It's forced, man. But speaking of the Iron Man 2 thing, I think one thing that they did correct and people can learn from is not to, and I'm kind of worried about Batman v Superman, to be honest, is not to shove so many things in there. Like Just you want, to set you up. Yeah, yeah, you want this character and this character and this character and this character, and then eventually the, the story of what the movie is just falls apart. That's a great point, because Iron Man 2 absolutely did that. They were really trying to set you up for the Avengers. Ultimately, it worked. I mean, it did, but you, you did get ex it, to the expense of the story of Iron Man 2, of course. But, um, yeah, I agree. Like, I think that's one of the things I'm most worried about with Batman v Superman is there's so many characters, even if they have smaller roles, that's still five minutes, ten minutes. And it's either a three-hour movie mm -hmm. or it's a two-hour movie with, you know, 20 minutes of good story. So. Well, hopefully they don't shoehorn them in right. and that they are actually fit within the context of the story. Yeah. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.